Miami Beach is known for its historic protected districts, but preservation doesn't always extend to private homes. There can be strong reasons to tear down and rebuild rather than preserve. Jack Finglass is former chair of Miami Beach's Historic Preservation Board. There's always been a gangster mentality in Miami Beach since 1915, Al Capone, all the big gangsters lived here. Uh, they, they came here to party. It's always been a town considered temporary and at the height of fashion. That's the key. It's always been at the height of architectural design and fashion. And that means that something has to go. You can't keep everything and have a new generation come in with their ideas. And that's what's happening here. The glass and concrete Lego boxes are the, apparently the new idea that architects think is the way to go. So there's no impetus, there's no encouragement, there's no uh, incentive for anybody to go reproduce uh, um, Spanish style, Mediterranean style, MIMO, any historic architectural style, Venetian, <laughs> Venetian uh, style. There are many beautiful Venetian style houses here on Indian Creek. There's no incentive, or, or that's not even that's not even an idea for most people, because number one, to do fabulous details and a good style costs a lot more money than a concrete and glass box with no details. That's what's driven because if they can get hundreds of percent profit on a building just plain concrete and glass. Why should they go to the extra effort of, build, of building, building car, cartouches and beautiful details that cost a lot of money in which the, the, uh, the craftsmen are hard to find, etc. I mean, you know, it, it's a practical thing too for these developers. They're minimizing their input and maximizing their output, the, the gain. You know, they're here to make as much money as humanly possible and move on. And we have no control over that. That's, that's, that's what I call the, the criminality of it all, is that the people who appreciate fine art, architecture, um, it's not like Palm Beach. That's a, not, another thing I like to, Palm Beach has an exceedingly effective historic preservation program. You dare not even think about knocking anything down there or planning something that doesn't blend in with what they already have. It's just not done because the, their people there are very wealthy, they want to control their environment, and they have the means and the laws behind them to protect what they have. Here, we've never had that because we were the wild, they used to call us the wild west, even though we're as far east as you could go, because it's always been open to the newest technology, the newest trends, the newest of everything, which there's nothing wrong with that, but in proportion. You know, every 20 years, we don't need to tear everything down here and rebuild an, a, a new city, which uh, uh, functionally and economically is less and less and less viable. 